moving on. Uh, we want to actually drop down here. As you saw, there was a door down here, if you look closely. Brings us to the lift shop. And we get an item. See ya. Is it worth coming down here and having to do some backtracking? Can't remember. Royal Crown. Let's find out. Uh, reduces uh, all the elements and raises magic, but reduces. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of strength. Maybe not. It's only a. Uh, only slightly raised. Oh, that raises it by five, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'll put it on instead of the Raven's Claw, because it protects against all those elements. So hopefully it'll be worth it. Uh, there's no way back up, unfortunately. And I don't think you can get back over here. So we gotta fall. We fall to the next area. And go back up. I have to go around, though. But that's okay. It's a quick, it's a short trip. And luckily, a lot of the enemies haven't respawned yet. Uh, that's all we have for this area. So we'll ignore this enemy and head on in. Back to the lift stop. As you can see, these guys are really good for uh, grinding for money, because they drop a lot of it. That's a 120, and that's without any enhancements, I believe. And we got a cutscene. I see the path has emerged at last. Yes. The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. She has Such nothing to say about his weird double voice. Nor does she question where he Impossible. got this weird keyblade. The princesses of heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart. Unfortunately, it looks like Kyrie did lose her heart power. after all. But why hasn't she disappeared? That's the question. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. Isn't he your lackey? Shouldn't you send him to take care of it? Does she know that he already lost once? And... <laughs> and we walk a few feet and back to the cutscenes. I'm afraid. You weren't standing there a second Any ago. Any moment now, the final keyhole will be unseen. This world will be plunged into darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! Oh. And now for one of the easier boss fights to get. Just get up here and start whacking her. Uh, she will summon uh, monsters as you can see, though. Hopefully they'll fall off with time. They are blocking me now. And I fell off. But, do enough damage to the stone and it'll fall off too. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We have to worry about the meteors behind us. Uh, 
but they don't do that much damage. And as long as we can stay on this rock, we're good. Look how easily her hit points go down. <laughs> I bounced off the wall, so she was failed to knock me off. And twice. And that's it. Pretty easy. That was easy, even, e even easier than in my test run. Better run away. And down a lurch chair. They sure were a uh, learned chair, weird times. And I guess we picked her pockets of that Ansem report before she uh, disappeared. So we got a quick save here. And we're not done with her, obviously. She's got a second phase, and anybody who's seen the uh, Sleeping Beauty movie knows what it's going to be. Do you need some help? Riku! A rock? Yes, a keyblade. But unlike yours, this keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Now, open your heart. Surrender it to the darkness. Become darkness itself! This is it! This power! <laughs> darkness! The true darkness! Is this implying that she couldn't do this transformation without Riku's help? Because she did it just fine in the movie. Ah oh well. This battle can be a little uh, tricky. Uh, the main thing you want to remember here is keep that shield up. She has a lot more hit points, and this fire does a lot of damage. Uh, other than that, I, I feel go nuts on her is the best strategy. I try to avoid the flames as much as possible. Uh, just hope that Donald can stay in there and heal you, but make sure you pay attention to him. He's knocked out, can't heal you. Be prepared to do it yourself. She's got a lot of red hot fire. Now, luckily, those uh, orbs of fire that she's shooting out will mostly uh, be deflected by your shield. That's why it's important to keep it up. Almost got her down to two bars. Uh, this one is uh, one of those uh, fights where the camera is going to work against you. So yeah, Donald doesn't have any magic anymore, so I had to heal myself. Let's got her down to one bar. And we're our short one Donald. This is not an easy fight, but as long as you keep those shields up and whack away at her, she'll go down and without too much trouble. Just try and get that last hit off on her. There we go. Thanks for the help, Goofy. And that's it for Maleficent. kill a lot of people in this game without second thought. What, because she wasn't human? Does it count? How ironic. She, she was, was just another puppet, puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent from the beginning. She failed to notice the darkness in her heart eating away at her. A fitting end for such a fool. Harsh. She used to be her ally. And Fire Glow. That will unlock the arguably best uh, summon in the game. 
but we'll worry about that later. For now, we have to follow after Riku. Don't know what makes that open. Maybe Riku opened it for us. Now the next room has a... is a bit... Next room has a... Uh, the next boss fight. It's a bit of a toughie. But if you follow the strategy that you did with uh, uh, Maleficent and keep those shields up, uh, you should be okay. Don't want to fall down there because then you have to go all the way around to get back up. And into the Grand Hall. Where we have the Princesses of Heart. Snow White, Alice, Belle from Beauty and the Beast, um, Jasmine, Cinderella, and Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. And right into another cutscene. There's a lot of cutscenes in this area. But we're near the end of the game, so it's to be expected. It's no use. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. What? You! You're not Riku! The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. It is time she awakened. Whoever you are, let Riku go! Give him back his heart! But first, you must give the princess back her heart. What's... Don't you see yet? The princess's heart is responding. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie. Remember when she flowed into Kyrie's us and back at uh, Destiny Island? That's I when she was transplanting our heart to us, know. basically. Tell me, who are you? I'm not sure if us Kyrie's holding on to her heart is the reason why she has disappeared, or her being a princess the of heart of is darkness. the reason. But that's the reason why we've been seeing weird visions and uh, the reason why this place looks familiar even though we've never been here before. So, I shall release you now, princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Lead me into everlasting darkness. I actually find this fight a little bit easier than the, uh... I mean, it, it, it can be difficult, but I do find it a bit easier than the fight uh, we had earlier with him. As long as you lay on him. Unfortunately, I don't have the counter-attack um, ability, which would have really helped in this fight. I think I'm close to it. I'm pretty sure I had it in my test playthrough. So maybe I should have leveled up a little bit to get it, but that's okay. I'll still get it without it. He's already a third done. And he starts using new attacks um, every third hit points. So he'll start powering up his magic now. If I give him a chance, which I'm trying not to. Uh, this is a temporary state right now, but once we get to his, his last health bar, uh, he can do, keep it on permanently. And this is his uh, strong attack. Not that hard to dodge. So yeah, now he's in that state permanently. And I 
do not have enough magic for a shield. That was close. Didn't know the item in my first slot was ether. Almost got him. Half the warrior left. Yeah, he likes to spam this attack a lot. Not too hard to dodge. Oh, now he's just spamming it. Now he's just being a jerk. Gotta hurt. Yeah. Gotta hit him as quickly as I can because I need to take him out before he gets to do it too many more times. There we go. I'm getting two levels from that. And I think I saw counterattack in there. Like I said, would have been useful in that fight. It allows you to, uh, as soon as, if you deflect or block an attack, it allows you to immediately counterattack with your own swing. But, and I was doing that a lot during the fight, but I won. Bucket of water. Heart. But, but now, a keyblade that unlocks people's hearts. I wonder. Sora. And now Sora does something very selfless, very sweet, and kind of dumb. Sora, hold on. Looks like it was made out of the princess's hearts. Awakened at last, Princess. The keyhole is now complete. You have served your purpose, but now it's over. Do you think we can stop him all by ourselves? I don't know. Uh, impossible. No. Uh. You won't use me for this. Riku! You've got to run! The Heartless are coming! <laughs> what about the keyhole? 